So how to make the perfect espresso. Well, number one, you need a great coffee, but number two, you need a great espresso machine. And I love this Ranchilio Silvia Pro. So this machine's got a couple of great features. One of them has got a double boiler, which means that you've got the ability to put an espresso coffee through at the same time as texturing your milk, so you get really, really fast. The other thing, it's got a digital temperature control at the front, so it tells you exactly what the temperature is in the coffee machine. So perfect coffee extraction is around 90 to 96. This is set from the factory at 93 great cup of coffee. A couple of other things, it's got a shot timer, so you can time that shot perfectly every time, which means your coffee's the same every single time. It's got a separate one for hot water, so you can make someone else a cup of tea while you're putting the coffees through. And the other thing I love, honestly, is just the look. I mean, it looks slick, it's commercial, it's solid, you know, it fills the business. And it's got a commercial group handle too, which makes a difference. So let's make our first coffee, it's gonna be an espresso, and every great coffee, regardless of what you drink, starts with a good espresso. So, grind the coffee. <laughs> 16 grams on the button. And then we're gonna tamp it. So, medium amount of pressure. And try and keep it stable, and then turn it, and then kind of polish the top of the coffee so it's nice and smooth. All right, into the machine. So I always let a little bit of hot water go first, which cleans any old coffee grounds away, and then put the basket in, nice and tight, and an espresso cup underneath, and then enjoy the next few seconds. And what you're looking for is that lovely creamy texture on the top, which is called a crema. And also I like seeing those little white dots, which means you've got that perfect extraction. You get these different colours of coffee from the first few seconds, which might be really dark and luscious. And then right at the end, you get that kind of pale extraction. And then the only thing left to do is taste it. <laughs> 